Good Tuesday evening and this first day of December during the season of Advent. Glad you're in our home. If you missed last night's announcement, we are doing together our family Advent devotions. If you would like a copy of those, members, those were mailed to you. If you're joining us and you're not part of our family, um, you can get those at Lutheran Hour Ministries. You can look that up online and, and get the Advent devotions there. Anyways, glad to see you guys. Let's begin. Sudden Returns. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, and Joseph the father of Jeho Je Jeconiah and his brothers, and at the time of deportation to Babylon, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ. Matthew chapter 1. Have you ever had a sudden turn in your life? You're expecting things to go on as normal, and suddenly something shocking happens and you find yourself on an entirely new road. Jesus' ancestry is full of such turns. Abraham was a childless man who became the father of a nation. Judah was the fourth son who inherited his family's blessings after his older brother's crimes. Uh, Solomon was a leader who married a Canaanite prostitute. Their son Boaz married a foreign girl, Ruth, and became the, greatest, uh, became the great grandfather of King David. David was a shepherd who replaced his disastrous king. If David stayed away from murder and adultery, his son Solomon would probably never have been born. Some of these turns were terrible, though not all. But all of them were unexpected, except to God. God knows exactly what he's doing when he throws a turn into our lives, or takes advantage of one we caused by doing wrong. Even our sin cannot stop him. And of course, the greatest turn of all is the one when God came into our world as a human being, Jesus Christ, to suffer, dies, and rise for us. Because of him, we are finally on the right road with all our wrong turns forgiven. Yeah, I mean, talk about wrong turns, right? Ooh, COVID is staring us in the face. You know, in June, we opened worship back up. I think it was June, and we did some in-person worship. We're close, socially distanced, and we still have our online worship, which is great. And I thought, we're in the home stretch now. We won't have to shut down uh, in-person worship again. And lo and behold, two weeks ago, as you know, our numbers here in Fort Worth and in Tarrant County are exorbitant. They continue to go up, and we had to shut down in-person worship right now. And I don't like these turns, and I know you don't either. It's not what we expected, right? And some of you have, have said, and, 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 and rightfully so, um, we shouldn't be afraid of the virus. Let's continue going on. And some of you said, Pastor, you did the right thing. It's tough. I'm going to tell you right now, it's difficult being a pastor. It is very difficult being a pastor right now because you have all the other stuff on top of it with all this too. And the reality is it doesn't matter what you're doing during this COVID. People are so much on edge. I mean, I, I have people right now, even in the midst of our own lives, um, uh, challenging me and, and even attacking me at certain levels because they don't like something I've done or because they're not happy with decisions I've made. And it is really hard. I mean, as I've said before, this is one of those times where I'm almost ready to say, well, maybe... Uh, Maybe it's time to move on to a different profession. I don't know. I don't want to do that. I really don't. But, you know, I'm human, and I think about those things too. These sudden turns are killing me, and they're probably killing you too. But I've also noticed that in these sudden turns, God does bring about good. For example, we went to online doing these devotions and online worship, and I kid you not, I have had contact through Messenger or over our church site, I've had contact from people all around our country. I know people right now in states around this country who are watching these devotions and worshiping with us and say they're part of our church family here because they're being fed and nourished. Praise God for that, right? I have had emails and contact from China and even people in Iran who are somehow seeing these videos and hearing about Jesus. I don't know about you, but that's good things. And sure, in our humanness, we can get selfish and we want the way it's always been and we want to be an in-person worship and we, we, see, we see people who are canceling worship as being afraid. And I've even heard people say, well, don't give in to the, to the media conspiracy about the virus and cancel worship, but it's not about that. The reality is, even when we take sudden turns, God still brings about good. Even when people are attacking us like they're attacking me right now, God still brings about good and he's doing it because God is about redemption. Look what he did throughout history in the sudden turns of the life of 
of those people, and it will continue to do it right now, even in the midst of COVID. We may not like the decisions that are being made. We may not like the choices that we're having to make right now. We may be uncomfortable and even be mad about them, and that's okay. We're allowed to have our emotions, but we cannot let them turn, uh, turn us away from God, and we cannot let them turn us away from each other and our brothers and sisters. Those who are gossiping and those who are using these things against us, well, they've fallen into the hands of Satan, and that's very sad. Very, very sad. And they'll be forgiven too. And we still love them because those sudden turns are wreaking havoc on them too, just like all of us. But right now we need to rest assured that a sudden turn is being made in our life and it's okay because at just the right time, God did something that was unimaginable. He took a sudden turn in the course of human beings and humankind for all the eternity. And he sent his son Jesus into the world so that might be forgiven and loved and go to heaven. Thank God for sudden turns because remarkable things come out of them. Even when they're our own doing or they're just the doing of COVID, remarkable things God has done and will continue to do. And we praise him for that. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, this world is in chaos right now and some of us are getting grumpy and attacking people and some of us are becoming naysayers and challenging people and some of us are looking at the negative and some of us, well, maybe some of us are looking at the positive, I don't know. Some of us are filled with fear, some of us are filled with doubt, some of us are filled with negativity, whatever it is. These sudden turns of our times are unprecedented and they have wreaked hell in our life. Hades has risen up. Give us your peace that we see at the manger. Your love we see in the tiny baby and the joy that comes from his work for us in his cross and in his death, his resurrection. That we may see that even in these sudden changes and chances of life, not only are you present with us now, but you bring about good for our benefit and for the world indeed. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. The Lord Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you and keep you. Have a great and wonderful evening. Stay healthy and safe. I'm praying for you all. I love you. I love you deeply. Thank you for letting me be your pastor, and thanks for joining us. Have a great night. Bye-bye.